Father Sky. Nine dragons. Mother Earth. My friend. Warehouse number eight. I'd like to speak to Master Chen. May I ask who's calling? This is Dio Hazugi. One moment, please. Hazuki? Guizhong. Hey, I heard from my old man. What's going on? Huh? What do you mean? Don't play dumb with me. Give me the details. What details? I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about Ju Yuren Da? Come on, man. My father says he wrote a referral for you and everything. And you don't say a word about it. Oh, that. Sorry. That referral helped me get in a door. But it wasn't as simple as that. I see. So what happened? I learned a little bit more about the mirror I found in my family's dojo. You mean the Phoenix Mirror, right? Yeah. It pairs with the Dragon Mirror stolen by Lan Di to reveal the location of a hidden treasure. A treasure. So that's why the Chiryo men wanted the mirrors. Yes. And I learned of Lan Di's destination. Bailu Village in Guiling. Guiling? Is that where you are now? Yes. But I followed Lan Di from Bailu Village to the city of Niawu. Is he still there? I can't say for sure. But something definitely seems off. I see. Well, be careful out there and watch your back. Guizhong, are you worried about me? Are you kidding? You don't stand a chance against Lan Di. Why, you... How is your father doing? Same as ever. I see. I really owe him one. I wish I could thank him again in person. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'll tell him next time I see him. Thanks. Call again sometime. It'd be great to catch up some more. Sure thing. Talk to you later. Harasaki. Hazuki? That's you, isn't it? Yeah, it is. What's up, Harasaki? I'm relieved. Relieved? It, yeah, I just had a bad dream. A bad dream? Yes, I saw you get swallowed into a giant black hole. I tried to go after you, but I was never able to catch up. Sounds like a very strange dream. Sorry, Hazuki. I didn't mean to bother you with that. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I don't really believe that dreams are good or bad. I see. Still, I'm really glad that you called when you did. No problem. Can I ask you something, Hazuki? What is it? Do you ever have dreams? Well, yeah. I suppose so. What kinds of dreams? My dreams? Well... That reminds me. You've appeared in my dreams before. Really? I have? Yeah. And what kind of dream was that? Um, we were in class. Class? At school? Yeah. I forgot something and asked you if I could borrow yours. Okay. But you had forgotten the same thing, so we both got stressed out about it. What kind of dream is that? It's so weird. <laughs> it definitely was a strange one. <laughs> but I must admit, I'm kind of glad. Glad? Why? I mean, Hazuki appears in my... Um, never mind. Uh, forget I said anything. If you insist. I see. Can you call me back later? 
Sure. I can do that. There is so much more I want to ask you. All right. Talk soon. See. We sometimes talk about you. We're always wondering what you're up to. I see. Well, I'm doing well. Tell them for me. Will do! How is Yokosuka? Have I missed anything? Just as you left it. I keep a watchful eye on the harbor. Keep it safe. Can I count on you, Goro? Bro, I got this! Yokosuka is my island! Ask me anything! Okay, then. How was everything at warehouse number eight? Warehouse number eight? They're regular customers of Hoku Hoku lunches. Regular customers? Hisaka often delivers lunches to them. Oh, I see. But hey, what's with that Guijong guy? Guijong? Did he do something? Every time Hisaka makes a delivery, he shows up with a big smile on his face. If I make a delivery, he gives me a face that tells me to get lost. Guizhong? Yeah, I hate that guy. Well, based on what you're saying, maybe he likes... Huh? Likes what, bro? Um, forget I said anything. I'll call again sometime. Sure, call me anytime you want. I'm sure Mai would love to talk to you too. Sounds good. Later, Goro. Later, take care of yourself. what they mean by girls talk? Neither of them would budge on which one of them came closest to winning. Closest to winning, huh? So what do you think, Yosan? What do I think? Yeah. Eileen and Izumi, which one of them was stronger? Um, good question. I guess I'd have to go with Izumi. That's what I thought. Izumi is really strong, isn't she? Her secret technique was really something. It got the better of me a bunch of times. I get the feeling it had a name. Sakura Festival! Ah, uh, yeah. You know well, Fong Mei. Of course! I was thinking of apprenticing under Izumi. You were? Yes! And why is that? Why? Um, well, <sighs> what to say? To achieve balance? Balance? What do you mean? Martial arts, right? So I just... I should do it, too. Huh? What was that? Fong Mei? <laughs> Nothing. Forget I said anything. By the way, are Xu Ying and the others at the temple doing okay? <laughs> yes, everyone is fine. They're all here working hard every day. I see. Say hi to Xu Ying for me. Okay. I'll call again sometime. I can't wait. Take care of yourself. We'll be waiting for your safe return. Thanks. You too.
Tom. Oh, that voice! Is that you, Rio? Yeah. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing great, man! Just great! How about you? No getting into any trouble, are you? No, not really. Well, maybe a little here and there. No, man, no! Oh, you're going to break Nozomi's heart! Why bring up Harasaki? Because I know what's up. She must be worried sick about you in Canada. You... you think so? Hey, man, you enjoying China? Um, well, it's not like I'm here to sightsee. I know that. You're there because of your father, right? Tom. But don't forget to always try to find the best in a situation. The best, huh? Brio, are you telling me you haven't had any fun on your trip? Um, good question. I learned a lot of new martial arts techniques since coming to China. I have to admit that I've enjoyed that quite a bit. Chinese martial arts? And not just Chinese, either. I fought martial artists from Mongolia, Russia, and all over the world. Oh, man! That's great! I think I'm starting to improve a little. But it's not just about learning new techniques. I've learned something far more important. What's that? Fighting for friends and loved ones can make you feel strong. Yes, man! That's bravery talking! Bravery. Yeah. I think you're right. My father must have felt it when he fought to protect me. Rio. I'm going to go, but let's talk again sometime. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, man. I'll be waiting. Later, Tom. Goodbye, Rio. See you around. I should call it quits for today. I should get going.